Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to welcome our distinguished guest, uh, Che Abdul Rahim from Philippine Islamic Propagator. To our dear Executive Chairman, Datuk Sri Syed Zainal Abidin. Our CEO, Encik Muhammad Fazil Hashim. Our CFO, Madam, Puan, Madam Afiza Razali, Mota Razali. And also our CTO, Madam Lediana Razaria Abdullah. And also to all my uh, dearest parents, children, and my colleagues here. Everybody wants to change the world. We also in Brainy Bunch hope that we can change the world through the right education. That's why I am here today to share with all the parents the rules and regulations of the Brainy Bunch Islamic International Muslim Montessori. In order for us to change the world through the right education, we need parents to give the cooperation and also to work together with us in Brainy Bunch to support our children, to change our children, to give the right education and the best education to our children. Okay, first, the rules of regulations in Brainy Bunch, admission and registration. Our enrollment policy is open to any child provided the school can meet the needs of the children. Enrollment in the school shall be granted without discrimination in regard to sex, race and colour, national and ethnic origin. Brainy Bunch also welcomes non-Muslim into its community. community. I know this is already in February, but it just I want to just uh, I just want to share with all the parents about the Brainy Bunch admissions, whereby in preschool program, uh, this program is open for children age one and a half, which is eighteen months to six years old, and for Brainy Bunch Elementary. Level open is two children age six to twelve, and now we also have our secondary children. What you need to do is you have to fill up the registration form for those parents who have not submit your admission form. Please do so and send to your respective campus manager with two recent photos of your child, uh, preferably passport size, and please give the copy of my kid of birth cert or a passport copies. Uh, to your respective campus manager. And if your child have any um, allergies or in medical condition, you have to inform your respective campus manager. So you, you need to fill up in the forms as well. And this information is really important to our teachers to help in order to make sure the children will get the best help from the teachers. The next one is for the payments. Uh, I would like to share the system that we have in Brainy Bunch. We introduced the Brainy Bill system for our parents. We are now, uh, we are no longer receive any cash in our campus. So that's why I would like to suggest and I would like to encourage parents to use this system from Brainy Bunch. The first step that you need to do is you will receive an invoice from Brainy Bills. Once you receive the Brainy Bills from the system, you need to click pay via internet banking. I just want to share how to do it because I know some of the parents have the challenges to use this system before. So this is what you need to do. The step one, you have to choose the pay via internet banking. Step two, you have to choose your internet banking. Once you choose your internet banking, the step three, you have to choose 
you do have to go to the blue box to agree and continue. The next part is to enter your username because now we are using like for, uh, for this example, I'm using the Maybank to you. You need to enter your username and password. Once you have received the FPX payment, you have to click continue. Okay. You need to insert your tag number and then click confirm. This is the step six. Once you receive this page, do not, when you see the status successful, it's actually, it's not done yet. You will receive this page, but what you need to do for the next step is to click continue with transaction. Because I know some parents, when they, once they receive the successful, they thought the transaction is already done. But what you need to do next is, you need to continue with transaction. This is the step number seven. You will see this, what you need to do for the step 8, return to FPX. And step number 9, you will have all the payment details, details here. You need to click here to complete your transaction, which is our step 9. Then you will receive a receipt. This receipt will have the green box there, you have to click here to close this window. This is step number 10. After you finish the step number 10, you will receive this notification mark as paid through your email and this will automatically reconcile in our system so you don't have to provide any proof of payment. Okay, this is the uh, step for you to complete your transaction in Brainy Beans. And this is uh, the account number for our kindergarten and also elementary. So parents, please follow the fee structure given to you uh, by the school. All monthly fees must be paid on or before 5th of every month. Uh, regardless of your child's uh, absences and any overdue of two months' payments shall result in loss of placement in your child. So you have to pay the fees even though your child is absent for two days and three days. But if you have a condition of um, illness, uh, medical report from a doctor, please submit to your respective campus manager as well. Okay, transfer and withdrawal. I would like to explain about transfers. In Brady Bunch Preschool, we allow tran transferring from one campus to another campus. For example, you are working and sending your child in Bandar Baru Uda in Johor, and you would like to transfer to Kuala Lumpur the next time. Uh, what you need to do is you have to give a one month notice. Uh, we at least need one month notice from you parents so that we can make a proper arrangement such as we need to prepare the documents of your children, of your child and we need to know the assessment of your child and subject to availability of the campuses as well. You can choose but at the same time we need to check with the campus uh, in KL. For example, you choose in KL because those who already booked Earlier of uh, early of the year, like let's say you book it in December, we uh, we don't have any problem. But if let's say the school already start and it's the middle of the year, it might have uh, challenges for us because some campuses uh, because we know that our teacher ratio is one to fifteen student, and sometimes we have difficulties because of course we cannot have in one class. Uh, 16 to 17 or 18 children in one class. So we are trying our best to give you um, uh, this uh, to make sure that uh, we fulfill your request.
Okay. For withdrawal also, you need, if you feel that your child is not fit or is not suited to stay in brain bunch or you have any other situation, you need also to give us notice. You have to write a letter and send to our respective campus manager for us to proceed to the HQ, to the management team. And for overtime, because in preschool and also elementary, we provide a daycare, meaning that we provide extended hours for our children. Uh, we have three programs in preschool. As you know, that some of the parents opt for regular program, some parents opt for star program, and also we have a full day program. But for full day program, uh, we are giving our parents time to pick up the children at least at 6.30 p.m. So you have ample time Half, half an hour time to reach at 7. But after 7 o'clock, we will charge overtime. For preschool, is 20 ringgit per hour. And for elementary, is 50 ringgit per hour. Okay? Okay, this is only the headquarters contact information because I know some of the parents have difficulty, uh, difficulties uh, to get the contact number and to reach the HQ staff. What you need to do, you can get this contact number and also you can go to our website of our Facebook, uh, Brainy Bunch Facebook. For elementary, uh, you can always call our front desk office and it's also open for you to meet our registrar from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are closed on national or state public holidays. As you know, our school year runs according to the national school calendar. Aside of your con uh, information on the contact number of respective campus, we also have our management team here, and I actually shared uh, our CEO uh, email. Uh, whoever wants to communicate with our CEO, you can always send an email to Cik Fazil. And also our CFO, Madam Afiza, and Madam Ladiana here. But I forgot to put my email as well. So you can take my email, mawar at brandybunch.com. And dear parents, about memos and notices from Brainy Bunch, we are now practicing uh, our memos to be given in email, SMS, and also WhatsApp. So we are seldom giving the letters. It's just that we will give the, through email. But for sports day, for field trip, or any event that you need to reply, we will give a letter together with the reply permission slip. We actually value frequent, timely, and open communication with you about your child. So, a part of this uh, channel, you can always uh, set an appointment with our teachers if you feel that you want to ask something. But, as you know, that our teachers is not um, have, having a formal break. Then, uh, you cannot simply call them during class time. So what you can do when you resend your child, you can always tell them, okay, I would like to see you after this, after class, uh, which time I will feel free to meet uh, so that I can come and discuss a few things, maybe about the field trip or maybe about the sports day and etc. And our children's evaluation. So, as you know, in Brainy Bunch, there is no formal exam for our children, especially for kindy, uh, playhouse and preschool children, because we are doing the daily assessment in school. So, however, we have to prepare our six-year-old children for their standard one preparation plan, and our six-year-old will have assessment uh, twice a year which is we will do it uh, every term two, uh, once, one time in every, uh, term two and another uh, one time in term four. This will cover um, Bahasa Malaysia, language, English, uh, mathematics, and also IQ. Um, for our progress report, uh, for kindy especially, progress report will take four times a year. 
uh, the first progress report will be uh, in March, handover progress report, which is we will just give the progress report to parents. And in June, we will have a parents meet teachers. This is face to face. So this is a time for you to meet the teachers and to know the progress of your child. The progress report in September also, we will just uh, hand over to all parents. And another session of face to face with parents is normally in November. But for elementary level, the progress report will be twice a year. Term one and uh, term two and term four. So this is only face to face with the teachers. Okay. And any changes in home situation, uh, you should inform our teachers by notes of personal conversation. I will give you the sample example of the homes situations such as death, relocation, divorce, uh, if you get a new baby, change in the child's daily routine, such as like using transport, maybe any fears or maybe your child experienced bad dreams. Um, because a change at home will often be reflected simultaneously or subsequently in behavior in school. So communication will enable the teacher to help the child uh, to arrest their need. And for those who have changes of contact information also, this is very important for you to inform our respective campus manager or your class teacher or your principal. Uh, you can give your contact address, email, because I will give you a situation, let's say your child is sick, it's very important for us to call you to inform you about this. And communication with second families, meaning that if you have your grandparents, uh, grandmother, uh, which is your child who is staying with them, you should provide also the address of your uh, parents and also contact information. In great Islamic spirit, both parents and school are advocates for the child. We each bring our own view of what is, happening, what is happening and what is the child's best interest. Teachers' experience and training help them to evaluate and make sense of their observations of a child. Thus, we want to work together with you and to develop mutual understanding in the interests of your child. So the proper lines of communication is very important in Brainy Bunch because you as a parent, you will have a communicate directly to your child's teacher or your respective campus manager. The campus manager will then report to their DVMs, which is we have our division managers for every campuses. DVMs, uh, division managers roles is actually responsible for planning and organizing the duties of the managers and teachers within her division. And division manager also review and evaluate the performance of our teachers and managers. Uh, they do the regular visitation to check the campus standard because uh, we want to make sure every campus will have the standard quality um, and also um, Daily pulse is done um, to know the day-to-day -day operation in its campus. Because as you know, Brainy, the only kindergarten that monitor uh, by HQ is Brainy Bunch. Because other kindergarten operator, they will, be, they will operate on their own. But in Brainy Bunch, we have me, myself as operation di director. Uh, I will get a report from these division managers whereby when they do all the visit, when they get the report, especially uh, in, for your children's progress, we, ha we are checking your children's progress through our KPI, uh, to our assessment, weekly assessment as well. One-to-one -one session also important when uh, the division, division manager or the managers will have one-to-one -one session with your teachers to know what are their challenges 
in the world. For the next one, I would like to explain about the arrival and departure. Maybe some of the parents are still not aware about what are the things that need to be done. Uh, arrival start, uh, for the arrival for Brainy Bunch Elementary, the school starts at 7.30, where students will perform their solat duha before proceeding to their morning assembly. But for our kindy operation, since we have a full day program, the, 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 the class starts at 8.30, but you can send your child as early as 7 o'clock. So same like other, uh, same like our Brainy Bunch Elementary, we also practice to perform solat duha in our preschool. We normally start our solat duha at 7.45 or 8 a.m. So I would like to suggest uh, all parents to send your children as early as uh, at 7.45 so that they have a chance to perform solat duha together with their friends. And, but I would like to uh, remind parents to make sure your child will take the wudu from home. So that when they reach the school, they don't have to go to the to take wudu. They straight away join to perform solat duha. And waiting on this one, we practice during January because we don't we normally don't allow our parents to remain or hang around the school because we want we don't want the children to feel that. Oh, my mommy is here, my father is here, so I want to go home, I don't want to go to school. But uh, I think none of us, uh, I mean parents, uh, is still waiting at the school lobby or the walkway in February, right? Because most of us feel that, okay, this is the time the children are okay to go to school. So I hope, if you feel that you want to see um, our manager, you can always contact our manager and set an appointment with them. The attendance, uh, if your child is absent, will be absent, you need to inform the campus manager as well. For example, you need to go, uh, your child is sick for one day or two days, uh, you still need to inform our campus, uh, respective campus manager. And also, uh, if the child is having an uh, illness, uh, for example, like a chicken pox or HFMD or uh, pink eyes, you also need to inform the teachers as well with the, together with the doctor's report. If you are unable to pick up your child, maybe you already assigned somebody else to get to pick up your child, you need to also to inform our respective campus manager. Because I remember uh, during registration, normally parents will fill up who will be uh, assigned to pick up your child. Maybe you can inform, okay, today my the, the grandmother will come and pick the child. But if, let's say, you assign somebody else who is not in our registration form, you still need to inform the campus manager. We do allow early release and, and daily student dimis, dismissal, but you still need to inform the manager if you feel that you want to pick your child early. Uh, I prefer you to inform them uh, early in the morning, but if let's say there's an emergency, what you can do, you can call the office for the elementary, especially. If your class teacher cannot get, cannot answer your phone, you can always call the home office. We also practice a fire drill, uh, emergency event for our children and teachers. Normally, we practice fire drills uh, several times a year. We, we, are, we are teaching our children how to evacuate the building together with the teachers in a specific time. Okay, for field trips, sport day, sports day and year-end concert. Uh, our, ne our next event uh, will be Sports Day, 
for Clang Valley especially, we will have our sports day in April. And we are planning to do it. We have uh, our tentative uh, venue, is, tentative date, and also venue in Padang Semara, Taman Wetland, Putrajaya. So information letter will be given to all parents together the, with the reply permission slip. Um, however, I would like to encourage all parents to make sure all the children will join the sports day as this event is very important for our children. Uh, as a part learning uh, the learning experience beyond the classroom and when they practice the sports together with their friends and they can see on the real day how they do how they uh, in terms of physical you can see they are really trying their best to get and to win but of course we don't really emphasize on winning and to get the medals but as you know when we mention sports of course they will feel that we want to uh, win okay so i hope uh, we will get more participation from parents as well for sports day and at the same time if you feel that you want to volunteer for our event you can do so and what you need to do you just inform our respective campus manager or for elementary, maybe you can inform your principal. And in Brandy Bunch, we provide uh, food for breakfast, snacks, and also lunch, where we have our own central kitchen in Puchong. We, I would like to inform parents that our breakfast will start after 9 a.m. So I would like to suggest uh, for you to provide your child with a nutritious breakfast early before they go to school because you know our breakfast will only start after 9 o'clock but lunch is only provided for our full day program. And for our birthday celebrations, I would like to strengthen here. Um, in Brandy Bunch, we are practicing once a month, meaning that if your child uh, would like to celebrate for January celebration what you need to do you need to inform your respective campus manager but here we practice like last week of every month let's say January the last week of January they will have a birthday celebration one time only so you can inform your respective cam campus manager if you plan to have your party pack ideas these are the things that I would like to suggest because we don't allow any junk foods um, you know, uh, unhealthy food because my idea, our team, our academic board has come up with this idea. Maybe you can suggest the fresh fruits for our children, cupcakes or tarts, dried fruits, crackers, raisin or mini buns. But sometimes you know in every birthday celebration, let's like say they will have a 10 children, but if you don't want to give a party pack, what you can do, maybe you can just give a fruit, let's, let's say apple, because if let's say 10 children are celebrating at the same time, there will be a lot of party packs. So I would like you to discuss with your respective campus managers first before you want to proceed with the party pack. Okay. The next one is health and personal care policies. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, in you need to inform and also to fill up in your registration form if your child has any allergies, uh, asthma, respiratory conditions, learning disabilities you may be aware of. In Brainy Bunch, we have our specialists. Uh, if let's say you feel that your child is having learning disabilities, what you can do, you can inform our respective campus manager together with the, uh, the report and we can what we can do, we can assess your child. Uh, you can set an appointment in HQ. Normally, uh, we will have Madam Lady Nazraya Abdullah to assess your child and also Auntie Karisma. And if your child is sick and you are giving them a prescription medicine, I know because our Brainy Bunch, because we have our full day program, I know some parents you cannot take leave for more than three days. If you send your child after that, you need to inform our teachers uh, what are the uh, 
uh, prescription medicine that need to be given. Let's say uh, I need you to provide the original container with the child's name on it and the dosage needed. And also, it's better for you to hand over personally to the teacher. And if your child is coming to school with the transport, I mean with the drive van, you can also inform the van driver to send uh, the prescription medicine to your teacher. For non-prescription medicine, uh, preferably the note must include the amount, time and duration. Let's say asthma and also the eczema, sometimes the skin problem. I prefer you to give a note to our teachers to include uh, how much you need to give and what, uh, what time you need to give and how long. For illness policy, state licensing and our internal auditing mandate that a child with any of the following symptoms be isolated and the parents notify and ask to remove the child from the school as soon as, as possible. If your child has a fever, diarrhea, vomiting, severe cough, unusual yellow color to skin or eyes, and stiff neck and headache with one or more of the symptoms listed. In case of serious illness, accident or injury of a child while in the center, parents will be notified immediately. If all means of locating parents have been unsuccessful, the staff will take necessary action. Normally, as OP in our campus, we will make sure the campus manager will send the child to the nearby clinic. In minor illness or accident, if parents cannot be contacted, the child will be kept in a safe and quiet area until the parents can be reached. In case of family emergencies, please contact the respective campus managers and also ensure that your contact numbers are kept up to date in our school. And I would like also to uh, explain about personal hygiene and care. Make sure your child come to school with a clean school uniform, clean hair without the lice, fingernails, ears and doors, nose, and also your uniform, if you don't have any school uniform, you can always advise your child to wear a plain t-shirt with a long pants. Uh, other accessories, I, we don't encourage you to give your child to wear the necklace or any bracelet. And these are the things that you need for all levels in our full day program. Uh, for all levels, uh, if let's say your child's in playhouse, primary, uh, four to six years old, this toothbrush, toothpaste and comb need to be kept in school. However, playhouse, you need to bring your diapers and change of clothes daily and also formula milk and small towel. Okay, um, it's the end of my presentation. Uh, I would like to encourage all the parents to give us the full support in order for us to make sure these rules and regulations are work. We need the continuous support, constructive feedback from the parents. It's okay to give us the negative feedback as long that we know that what other things need to be improved by Brainy Bunch International Montessori. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.